Could it be that Judas, the self-proclaimed king of YouTube, is more a jester than a ruler? This question arises as we delve into the complex narrative surrounding this intriguing character. Just a few weeks ago, Judas was on the fence about hiring a cameraman, seeking the counsel of his subscribers. Yet today, he seems to be rejecting the very idea, citing issues with public liability insurance. An interesting change of heart, wouldn't you say? Judas shares that he's been observing the work of Justin Rhodes but wants to avoid the backlash Rhodes faced. Yet, one can't help but recall that Judas himself was among those who criticized Rhodes, even making a video to express his disdain. Could this be a case of the pot calling the kettle black? There's an undercurrent of reluctance when it comes to accepting help on some dumb ranch. Judas appears fearful that allowing others in might reveal the truth about his lifestyle. The fear of the king being unmasked, perhaps? Despite this, Judas speaks of his loyal friends, all three YouTube channels worth. He's voiced his disillusionment with friendships, stating that many used him to build their platforms. But isn't it curious how Judas himself leveraged the popularity of Justin Rhodes, keeping it Dutch and Arms Family Homestead to boost his own channel? Judas alleges that these channels turned their backs on him once they got what they wanted. Yet it seems more plausible that Judas was the one who turned his back on them after gaining what he sought. History has a peculiar way of repeating itself, and it seems Judas has mastered the art of playing the victim. One can't help but wonder how Judas manages to sleep at night, knowing the web of lies he's spun about other YouTube channels. Meanwhile, his supporters, like the drunk nurse, seem all too willing to nod along. Now Judas is threatening to launch a podcast to expose those who used him for views. But what really happened with Sawyer Ridge Farm? Why did they quit YouTube? Judas's offer of a goat to the pegleg pirate and the subsequent argument about the animal's origins raises more questions than it answers. Where are the other crockers in all this? And what's the real story behind the dwarfed goats? The truth remains elusive, shrouded in the mystery of Riviera, Texas and Bristow, Oklahoma. In conclusion, the narrative surrounding Judas is a complex web of contradictions and controversies. He appears to be a character who is quick to play the victim while failing to recognize his own manipulative actions. Despite his claims of being used, it appears that Judas himself has used others for his gain, all the while spinning a web of deceit. Remember, in the world of YouTube, not everything is as it seems. And as for Judas, the self-proclaimed king, his true colors continue to show, painting a picture that is far from royal.